Okay, we've actually got a, a child dedication today. So uh, Randy and Cheryl, if you guys want to come on up with, with little Matthew. And uh, Psalm 127, verse, verses 4 and 5 says, Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. And Randy and Cheryl, you guys are blessed. You guys are happy. You filled another arrow in your quiver here today. So um, for those of you who don't know, Matthew was adopted on uh, Thursday. So we've got a picture there from, from the process and with the judge up there. And it was actually National Adoption Day, which is pretty cool, pretty significant as well. So they're going to share a little bit of the story, and then we're going to do the, the formal dedication. So Awesome. Thank you. So you a little scared, buddy? We're both quivering, he said. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So a couple things about, uh, about adoption. Um, it's real easy when you adopt to get into that kind of humble bragging mode. Yeah, we adopted, you know, like you're something else. But the reality is, is that we weren't looking for adoption. God brought us Matthew. God brought us Bella. It was pretty exciting to see how God brought all that together. You know, there's a lot of things that uh, just couldn't have happened if God hadn't orchestrated them. And uh, just a lot of hurdles in the way. Nothing I could do about any of them. But God interceded and said, we're going to match you two up. Um, you know, are we are we perfect people for this? I don't know. I mean, we're you know we're we're sinners just like everybody else, um, but we're excited that God is has assigned us this. And and uh, you know, as as a man, um, it's my duty, just like it was with all my children. I prayed and asked God, you know, let me have that unconditional love for for my child, something that uh, that would be at least in some way a model of the uh, God's unconditional love for us. So that uh, when God comes calling for this boy, that there isn't any hindrance like, oh, what's God's love look like? Uh, hopefully you saw it in me. So I would ask you all as men to hold me accountable to that, to, to raise this boy with unconditional love and correction as God does. Um, and uh, anything else you want to say about adoption, man? It's, Just, yeah. yeah, it's kind of scary, but it's, it's so delightful. It's um, one of those things that... I think we're blessed far more than, <laughs> yeah. you know, just because of the joy that the kids bring to us. And it's just like with your own kids. It, there's good times, there's bad times, but it's just delightful through it all. <laughs> yep, and I think, you know, I think I shared most of this with most of you were here when Bella was, um, was dedicated. That I love the thing I love about adoption. This is true of your own children, too, is, is that God brings these things together. Um, it's a picture of, you know, Matthew didn't go looking for us. God assigned him to us. We didn't, you know, he didn't have any part in it. Um, um, but he was redeemed. What's your middle name, buddy? Can you say it loud? So Boaz. We picked the middle name Boaz for him because Boaz was the redeemer. So we hope you all uh, rejoice with us and uh, join us afterwards. We're going to hand out some ice cream sandwiches and just kind of celebrate together. That's awesome. And Matthew is now a Kenyan. And that is part of his, that is awesome. That is so good. He, uh, he is part of Team Kenyans, which is awesome. And the, uh, the first son, the first boy in the family, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, and, and that is now Matthew's identity. Um, but that is his secondary identity because as he is created in the image of God and as he bears that image, he is intimately known by Jesus. And uh, we pray and we hope as the Kenyan family, as our church community comes alongside them, that one day he will put his faith in Jesus and that his identity will be an adopted son of our Father in heaven. So that's what we pray for. Okay, so the, uh, the dedication here, you guys have probably seen this before. In case you haven't, we, we encourage uh, uh, Randy and Cheryl to remember their marriage covenant as well as... Uh, uh, commit to raising Matthew and all their children in the ways of the Lord, and then we ask the church body to respond. So they're going to read a verse and and ask you guys to come alongside them. When they do that, you can respond with "We will." So, all right, here we go. So Ephesians five verses thirty one and thirty three, the Apostle Paul addressing husbands says, "Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife." And the two shall become one flesh. The mystery is profound, and I'm saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. So, Randy and Cheryl, do you commit to continuing to honor your marriage covenant and continue to have your marriage be a reflection of Christ and the church? Yes. 
Awesome. Okay. And uh, Randy and Cheryl, do you commit to being an ambassador of Jesus in your home, to primarily being the main disciple makers in your home, and to raise Matthew and the rest of your children to love and to worship Jesus? Yes. Awesome. Psalm 145, 4 through 10 says, One generation shall commend your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on the wondrous works, I will meditate. They shall speak of the might of your awesome deeds, and I will declare your greatness. They shall pour forth the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The crossing, will you labor in prayer alongside with us? Will you all help us and hold us accountable to the commitment we have made today? We will. Awesome. Okay, we're going to pray for Randy and Cheryl and Matthew. So if you want to come up and pray with them, if you're family or part of their life group, feel free to come on up on stage here and we'll gather around them and, and lay hands on them. So. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes. We're going to break this stage. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's pray. Father in heaven, we are grateful that you are our Father and that you have deeply loved us and that you have chosen us before the foundations of the world. And Lord, I, uh, I'm just so thankful for the work that you've done in Matthew's life, that you have rescued him from the pit and you have brought him into this great family. And Lord, we pray just that you would soften his heart, that you would use Randy and Cheryl and Heidi and Heather and Rachel and Bella and everyone else who's a part of Team Kenyans, Lord, just to draw Matthew to yourself. Lord, we pray just that you would continue to protect him, that he would uh, come to know you and that he would see his need for a savior at a young age. And Lord, that, uh, that we as a church would continue to encourage our brothers and sisters here and to, uh, to have a part in helping. Matthew to come to know you. So thank you for uh, your design for the church and that uh, this, this Christian life and, and even raising a family is not a solo endeavor. And Lord, we want to continue to rely on you as a body to see Matthew come to know you. So we love you, Lord Jesus, and pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Yes. Whew.